What's up guys, Blu-ray Anarchy here. I want to talk about Jeepers Creepers 3. The reason behind why it wasn't really happening like a long time ago when the rumors and the promises started a long time ago when we was getting our third one. Well, I didn't really find this out until the third one was already done when they said the filming wasn't done. I looked on YouTube more about it and then what the director did. Now, I didn't know nothing about this. I grew up watching this horror franchise, the remake to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Scream, Saw, and Halloween, and many other ones I can't really remember the names of. I grew up watching them, horror films, and I can't say anything bad about the films. The films are awesome. Just the bad thing to happen in the films, which I wish never did happen, but it did. I mean, it did. It did. So what ba what the bad thing happened was, I'm gonna try to say this family friendly as possible. If not, if you want to know the full story about this, just type in on YouTube. Director, why was he sent to prison? I don't know his real name. Uh, I know it's Victor something. So yeah, there you go. So the director did something bad in both these films, and the victim. Dean speaked out in the first film, and that was the, the reason why he didn't get caught in the first one. So, therefore, if he would have spoke up in the first one, the second one wouldn't really have been happening. Well, that happened again in the second one, and the idiot director, let's say, recorded it, and the victim spoke up. It was taken to the court. Okay? The director was sent to prison and to pay the victims okay one y'all got y'all justice I mean when you're going in court for something like that you're looking for justice no matter what you want this person to go to jail or prison one for how long you never know because the system kind of sucks I mean if you're if the person does good in, in, in the prison or jail he's going to get released or something like that I mean even murderers do that I'm sorry to say that. It's true. It's our justice system. It really sucks. Something needs to be done about it, to be honest, but yeah. And you was paid. And I know this. Before anybody says anything in the comments, say, uh, well, that doesn't take the bad memories away for getting justice, even though he did get released, even though we did get paid. It doesn't take the bad memories of that event that happened yes it doesn't I get that I 100% I get that I'm sorry that happened to the uh, to the victims or whatever but it happened I'm sorry to say it, it happened just you're the one y'all the ones gotta live on with that in into y'all selves hopefully y'all got over it or whatever <laughs> say it so let's go back where I just found out this um, film was already done being made. So I was hoping to go on YouTube and find out some like behind the scenes stuff that happened. Maybe they already posted on uh, YouTube or something like that. But I didn't find that on there. I found a lot of hate over this film from some YouTubers. I, I don't remember the names where it happened a couple months ago when I first saw the videos. But, but in the videos they were saying they're going to boycott it, sign petitions and all that stuff to get this film canceled. Well, it's already kind of say this, but if you're trying to get a film canceled, you kind of need to do that before it starts filming. Because the studios and production companies are already spent this much money onto it, and you think they're going to let you do that and let them be out of their millions and millions of dollars. Of that stuff. No, it's not. It's not gonna happen. You can petition all that stuff all you want. It, it's really not gonna happen. I'm sorry to say that. And I want to say this too. I said yes. He did a bad thing. Again, he's paid his debt to this to society. If you got a problem with that, then you gotta blame the judge or the system or the prison where he was sent that. And if he was parole, then it's the parole board's fault. Alright. He was released. 
it is time. All right. Yeah, it sucks it happened. I know. Uh, am I? Am I siding with the dude? No. I think he did a really bad thing. Uh, he got punished for it. Yeah, he went to prison. He did his time. Uh, I feel bad for the, the victims. Yeah. yeah, that shouldn't really happen to the victims. It shouldn't happen to anybody. But the world sucks. Bad things happen. We live on. And now this new thing, where I just found out from uh, what movie one, where he already had the tickets to go see the premiere of Jeepers Creepers 3 in the Chinese theater, well, it got canceled. And a lot of people think the movie got canceled. Uh, it didn't get canceled. Uh, the film's still going to be premiered somewhere. It's just not going to be premiered at the Chinese theater right now. But he's a protesters. He's a protesters. Saying they're gonna go protest, break stuff, and possibly hit somebody, start a fight. Which, I mean, are y'all stupid or something? I, I mean, I don't. I get you in a protest or something like that, but y'all gotta think smart. I mean, my God, protesting don't really do anything about it. It's gonna leave one of y'all in jail for possibly the rest of your lives. Because they can violent or something like that and you end up killing somebody. Or hurting somebody really bad. And you're gonna get you're gonna get charges. So yeah. There's no point in protesting. And I'm all for that stuff, man. As long as there ain't no violent stuff around, but it really doesn't help. Just suck it up, let it happen, and let it go on. <laughs> A lot of people are probably gonna forget about this movie in the next couple months. When another awesome horror film comes out like uh let's say it the remake of it letterface uh next year's gonna be the new halloween movie so come on dudes get over it so yeah this is my video about the news of james keepers 3 i hope you liked it please like it please subscribe check out the twitter page and stand for you guys